It's pretty funny. Yes, to me it works. It works to me. Why? Can I follow your Yahtzee? No. I don't know. You don't know? Yes. Okay, so basically for this we just had to create, we had to create a game of Yahtzee. And to get it to go fully through, we had to have each player, well, we allowed them to input their name, we had to allow them to roll uh, three times and choose which dice they wanted to hold, and we had to keep track of the score and have it add up totally to see who the actual winner was. So, basically, I guess I'll just show you how a turn goes. Um, this is a pretty good start. I already have a small straight. And then it gives you an array of scores that you can choose from, and <laughs> based on some of the code that we wrote, it shows you the possible scores that you have, so obviously I'll pick a small straight for that one. And then it inputs it into the score card. Yeah. So then it keeps doing that back and forth, and um, totals up the scores for the end of the game to see who gets what. That obviously wasn't very good, but I can just choose a score. I'll try and go for a small straight again to show you something else in the code. Uh, that didn't work. But basically, if, if you if you get the same thing and you click it, it doesn't allow you to take the score because it's already been chosen. So we just had to basically make force the rules of Yahtzee onto the computer program so that it didn't break the game, but also that you couldn't do things that wouldn't be allowed in the actual game. Yet. So then you go back and pick a different score, depending on what you have.